Look at that look on Tomas' face. Like, you tell me that's not a man that's in love with what he does? In love with the music? Look at him! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts. Today we're reacting to Nightwish. It's a song called Dead Boy's Poem. Yet again, I'm very happy that we're doing Nightwish. I'm very, very happy that the last Nightwish song we did, I said a little something. I remember I said that I hope that this is the right version of the song. It's the one you want us to react to. I will remind everyone that I don't get to choose the songs. Joey does, and Joey puts them on the computer for me, and I just press play. And I asked him in that video, are you sure it's the right one? And he said, and then I asked you to make sure it was, and if it wasn't the right one, to let him know. And you know what happened? You let him know. You let him know good. And that day was a victory for me. And so, I leave it to you to tell me whether or not this is the correct version and to correct Joey once again in case it is not thank you all Nightwish Dead Boys Poem live in Buenos Aires 2018 ooh this is recent Marco 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 Very excited. I mean, is that guitar even supposed to make that sound? Also, I'm enchanted! Sorry, I'm pausing. I'm sorry, I'm pausing, but I just want to go back so we can listen to, to that transition that she did there. Was that falsetto, Joey? You didn't hear that little bit there? Listen, listen. It wasn't?
If you read this line, then I'm not the hand that wrote it. And I'm only the verse, some make us cry, the one without tears. For I've given this its strength, and it has become my only strength. Comforting home, mother's lap, chance for immortality. Where being wanted became a thrill, I never knew. The sweet piano, writing down my life. Every time, every time Impu plays a solo, man. I'm so amazed by his ability to let the notes breathe. How do you resist, sir? How do you resist? Every solo is, is the perfect solo for the song. Every solo is the perfect solo for the song. Melodically, that solo was exactly the same as the vocal melody, but he makes it sound different. It's... Is that stupid what I just said? Does it make any sense? But it's true, right? You're so good, Empu. You're so good. Teach me passion. Look at that look on Tomas' face. Like, you're telling me that's not a man that's in love with what he does? In love with the music? Look at him! You beautiful human being! My face gone. Show me love, hold the long. So much more I wanted to give to the ones who love me. I'm sorry. Time will tell. It's bitter farewell. I live no more to shame, nor me, nor you. And you, I wish I didn't feel for you anymore. Well, how cool is that? We're gonna go back and you, I wish I didn't feel for you anymore.
Thank you. Thank you. Every damn time, Joey. Every damn time. Goosebumps. Evanescence, eh? Evanescence? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see Evanescence uh, compete with that. Let's break down the song. Break down the song. You're gonna make fun of me here, aren't you? So there's that poem bit in the song. Now here's the thing, I couldn't pay that much attention to the words and lyrics because as soon as Floor gets on the stage and she starts smiling and singing, I just go, <laughs> and I just forget I exist and everything else that is. But I do try to pay attention to the other things going on. Troy was playing a mandolin? A manda guitar? Does that sound like a thing? My favorite bit of the song, this is gonna sound silly, but when Empu comes back on stage and he just does a thing, that is my favorite bit of the song. I don't know why, but it just, as soon as he did that, it made me really happy to see him do it. And to do it for just the exact right amount of time. I really wanna know who wrote the poem. Is it an, an already written poem? Did one of them write it? Did they write it together? Did someone else write it? What's the real story behind Dead Boy's poem? You know, it's not enough for Marco to be amazing at one instrument. He's also got to like, bust out the guitar. And no, his guitar is not supposed to make that sound. What kind of... No! No, Marco! Don't, you, you're cheating! <laughs> the way the song starts, right? With, with the sound of that guitar, it starts off here. And it's, it's dragging you into that story. It's putting the bait in front of you. And then it takes you on this journey and this ride and then poetry. And then it continues. And then poetry. And I like how those breaks come in to sort of explore the story of the song. Like that's the epic bit about the song is that storytelling element to it. And then by the end of it, after that last line of poetry, it just explodes. And then what Floor is doing at the end vocally... Floor, stop doing this to me. You're, you're amazing. You're wonderful. The other day, I was looking for your tattoos online and who your tattoo artist is, because I want to convince my girlfriend to get some of your tattoos. That is not healthy, <laughs> by any means. Another successful Nightwish experience. I swear, at this point, I, I live for these. They just make my week so much better anytime I get to listen to a Nightwish song. So please keep recommending them. Please never stop recommending them. I want to listen to every Nightwish song there is out there. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Do consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you've made it this far. We will catch you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat.